right, so Echo is the recent Marvel miniseries released on Disney+. Plus. And I remember, you know, Echo, or her real name, Maya Lopez, was introduced in the Hawkeye uh, TV show, and the Hawkeye series. And as I was watching it, not once did I relate, did I felt some sort of connection towards the character of Maya Lopez. I thought the show, the series, I thought Hawkeye had so many, like, subplots and, like, it's a Black Widow, you know, sequel. Hawkeye is a Black Widow sequel. It's also uh, setting up the Thunderbolts. It's also, uh, you know, introducing this new character, Echo. There's, like, so much shit in that Hawkeye TV series. Plus, you know, uh, building up this psychic sort of character of Kate Bishop played by Haley Steinfeld. So that, yeah, that sh series, Hawkeye, the Hawkeye series had so much shit, but you guys can watch my uh, review of it on my uh, YouTube channel. But anyway, yeah, after I, w I finished watching Hawkeye, I, w I thought to myself, and I said to myself, I am not interested in this upcoming Echo TV show that is in development at the time. You know, back at the time, I was like, no way. No way, because I, I felt nothing. I felt no connection towards the character, and I'm not interested. And then, the tr and then you know, the trailer came out, and then the announcement was released, and then the announcement was official that the show... It will be uh, released simultaneously on Disney Plus and Hulu at the same time on uh, January 9th, 2024. And the show will be, get ready for it, it will be TVMA. It will be for mature audiences. And I was like, whoa, that I did not see coming. <laughs> But, but the downside is that there's only going to be, in, instead of six episodes, we're going to get five episodes. We're one down, <laughs> which was fucking hilarious. Like, hey, you guys thought six episodes was short? Well, we're going to make Echo five episodes instead of six. And then, you know, it was an, and then, you know, the announcement that Vincent D'Onofrio will return as Kingpin and Charlie Cox will come back as Daredevil. I'll talk about those two. I'll talk about Daredevil and, uh, later. But yeah, the trailer really focused, I mean, obviously on Maya Lopez Echo, but also Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin, Wilson Fisk, um, and a little bit of Charlie Cox's uh, Daredevil. And after I binged watched this sh uh, series, oh, by the way, yes, yes, 100%, there will be spoilers. So you have been warned. Um, Daredevil, Charlie Cox's Daredevil was in, I think, one episode, I think the first episode. And he was in about maybe 90 seconds. That's it. Like, just one, like, sequence. He was in one, Daredevil was in one, only one fight sequence. I mean, the fight sequence was pretty hot. Like, I was like, oh, shit. Like, um, you know, Daredevil, like, jumping through, like, these shelves, you know, fighting Echo. I was like, okay, okay. That's pretty sweet. I, I, you know, the action scenes, you know, obvious, it's Marvel, so of course, obviously, the action scenes were pretty badass and really unique, um, like, visually, and from, like, a creative uh, perspective, so there's that. Unfortunately, after I binge-watched the Echo miniseries, 
I felt more disappointed and let down than I was excited or happy or satisfied. Echo is yet another down, another loss. Overall, I feel, in my opinion, Echo is another loss, yet another loss for Marvel, for the MCU. And it's such a shame to say it. Now, I don't hate... Now, this show... Now, please don't get me wrong. Echo, this series is not terrible. I actually like this uh, more than the Hawkeye TV show. Because, like... I remember, like, I watched the trailer for Echo. And, you know, the whole weighted R. And the fight sequences. And the way the trailer was shot. The way this show is shot, it's so professional and so s visually cinematic. It looks like it looked like I wasn't watching a mini series. It looked like I was watching a movie, a 5-hour movie. And that's something I have to say, that's something I have to, you know, be thankful for for uh, Kevin Feige. Um, I don't know if it's Kevin Feige's idea or someone else's at Marvel Studios' idea to make, to f not, you know, treat, but like film these Disney Plus TV shows like a movie, like as if they're a movie, like the aspect ratio looks different, looks different than like the typical, uh, Ratio, I don't really know what that would be. Uh, but, you know. So I love, I, I will say that. I do like how the this show is shot and filmed. I thought the actors did a great job. Uh, Alec, Alacqua, Alacqua Cox, is it? Alacqua, Alacqua Cox. I thought she, as Maya Lopez as Echo, she did a great job. She did a really good job. Um... Ooh, I thought she displayed a lot of emotion towards her character, and I actually like, I actually, and you know, I I, I like her here than I did with uh, the Hawkeye, than with her in the Hawkeye series. Yeah, that's the thing. I I feel like I felt like they should have released Echo before the Hawkeye TV series, but whatever. But you know, because of the writings, because of the way they wrote both of the series. They had to release this after, you know, because at the end of Hawkeye, she shot <laughs> Kingpin. Um, and to have that before, yeah, that would be very confused and uh, not in chronological order. Um, but anyway... <sighs> I mean, I don't know. I felt like I kind of felt like this series was very very slow paced. I I felt my I found myself yawning a lot. I apologize if I'm like pausing here or there i'm just trying to like collect my thoughts together so i do apologize about that if you um if i pause if i you know but like i'm trying to like get all my thoughts together and really form my opinion but yeah i found this show to be very slow pace there are some thugs and gang there's like some there, there seems to be some gang war or some thug war happening in in the middle of the series that I felt like it kind of didn't happen because I think Kingpin or my or Echo got in, you know, my Lopez got in the way. Um, I don't know. I just <laughs> I was trying so hard to pay attention. <sighs> I did like, um, I mean, I'm not, you know, Native American, 
I'm not Choc uh, I'm not a Native American, so I don't know how accurate the representation of you know the Native American heritage and the culture in this series. So I can't really give an opinion, but I think maybe they did a good job. Um, I didn't hear any complaints about the representation of the culture and the heritage of the Native American uh, people. So. I don't know, man. It's just. I'm just really disappointed. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I am. I am very disappointed. I feel bored and lazy after I after I finished watching this. I, I I felt that I didn't like the theme song of this series that they 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 chose for the series. Like Ms. Marvel had like Pakistani music and singing. Um, the Moon Knight theme song was, you know, Egyptian instruments and um, vocals. Here, it's like some random pop song. Beautiful. I do like the yeah, I do like the yeah, yeah, yeahs, but I don't know. I don't, I don't really like the theme music, the opening theme for this series. I mean, I guess I understand why Daredevil was in this show. She Daredevil was Daredevil just made one cameo appearance and then he's out. Which makes sense because the show is called Echo and not Echo and Daredevil. And plus we're going and plus Daredevil Born Again will take place after this series so there's that so we're gonna see a lot more daredevil soon hopefully uh, sooner than later really sooner than later um yeah i think that's pretty much it i'm just really disappointed and Marvel. Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. The, the magic really has ran out for a while now. The magic, the Marvel magic is gone. It's running low on fuel. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for taking your time to listen to my review. Please like, comment, subscribe. Do all that great stuff. Uh, especially like and subscribe. Because when you like and subscribe, you'll be helping my channel uh by tons, by a bunch, by a whole lot. Uh, so I do appreciate it if you do that. And uh, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.